way of life is evangelical. Uh, we live our lives by following the gospel. We do this in community uh, with our sisters and with all those we come into contact with here at the monastery. Uh, we do this in the monastery 24-7 together. And with our current state of self-isolation and social distancing, many of you now are experiencing what we experience every day in our poor clear way of life. Now, I may live in a monastery and do my best to live a gospel life, but I have been known to get on my sister's nerves from time to time, and they on mine. Uh, it happens. Uh, living and growing in community takes a lot of effort sometimes. I'm doing my best, and I know that my sisters are trying their best as well. But we're still human. Even though I've been told that worry isn't not a normal state of mind, and it adversely affects my health, I still do it. I may not do it as much as I used to, but when I'm under stress, like being afraid I might get the coronavirus, I feel somewhat justified in my worrying. Now how can I take that worry with big capital letters and at least make it not so big? Most of the time, I can forget about my worrying when I get active and I start to think about helping others. Things I try to do to help lessen my worries, uh, sticking to a regular routine of daily activities, uh, at least now for this new normal, making sure I communicate in some way with others during the day so that I feel connected, uh, getting outside for some fresh air and hopefully for some sunshine, to lighten my mood. Uh, the days fill up pretty fast with positive things uh, and I can prevent those worries from creeping up on me. As poor Claire's, our way of life is all about the schedule. Our life revolves around the liturgy of the hours and uh, right now communion service. There's a comfort in trying to keep as much of our schedule as possible. We usually only watch the news a few times a week, but during this crisis we did decide to watch more often so that we can stay informed. Uh, we've also made more time for uh, personal sharings and uh, for more fun so that we can help reduce the stress. There's a comfort in knowing that we're all in this together. From the news and online stories we can see that people are helping each other. And by helping each other, we can get through this current coronavirus crisis.